we have four points here and we're being asked to do two things find the region that is this well actually the points that are the same distance from a and b and then the points that are also 15 meters from c well let's start with uh 15 meters from c so we can see that one centimeter represents five meters that means 15 meters well i've tripled the five so i'm going to triple the one it's going to be three centimeters on on my diagram just for info um, this here is 7.2 on the real exam paper and on um, the handout I've made and on my screen here. So 7.2 centimetres. Now we want to set a compass such that it is the radius is uh, 3 centimetres. So put the point on 0, line that up with the ruler, and then bring it in so it's 3 centimetres. Brilliant. Can move that away now. So um, it's got to be 15 meters from C, that's three centimeters on a diagram. It's gonna be here. This whole circle going around C. And then we want the points at the same distance from A and B. Well, to do this, we actually need, it's a line that goes exactly through the middle. It's actually the perpendicular bisector of A and B. So to help us do this, I'm going to draw the line that's going from A to B, and then it's like a bit more standard how to draw the perpendicular bisector. What we do is we put a compass on one end, make sure that you're going beyond halfway, and then draw an arc about a uh, semicircle sort of thing. These are all the points at the same distance away, this, whatever distance I set it as away from A. If I do the same at B, then I get the points that are this distance away from B as well. And there's two places where they um, coincide. And then they're the same distance away from A and B. And essentially, although you don't draw this, you've, we've created, um, created a rhombus here. And when we connect it, it will necessarily split the rhombus into two perfect, uh, like equal parts, and it will split the line into two, and it will give us our perpendicular bisector. So there it is. I might just have to adjust that very slightly. Okay, so that green line. What is actually doing? Well, it splits the line into two. So this part here is the same as this part here. And also it creates a right angle. But what it does also is it is the line that's, you know, so this point here is the same distance away from B as it is from A. So finally, mark the two points that are the same distance away from A and B and 15 meters from C. Well, it's going to be here. And it's going to be here. So maybe I'll just draw little arrows to, to make it really clear. That's what I mean. And that's going to be my answer. Part B says that ABCD actually represent the four corners of Monty's garden. The garden's bounded by four straight fences along here. So actually, we could draw them in. That might help us. So C to B, we've already got B to A, A to B. Okay, that's going to be his garden. He wants to plant a tree in his garden at the place that satisfies the conditions in point in part A. Why is there only one position where he can plant his tree? Well, I've drawn the garden, and you can see this tree is actually outside the garden. So why is there only one position? Because only one of the points is inside the garden. Okay, nicely done.